Good day for a celebration. It's happening in Sacramento with some Mardi Gras flair. The third annual City of Trees Parade is happening right now in downtown, and it's bringing together thousands of performers and dozens of local vendors for a one of a kind party. KCR 3's Orca Mana is live right now from the festivities at the Capitol Mall. Orca, looks like you're having some fun. You got them beads on. Yeah, Brittany, folks out here are having a great time. I've got my own Mardi Gras beads here to celebrate. And right now we're kind of waiting for the second part of the parade to start. The first part of the parade happened a couple hours ago, but there's still plenty to do here. Folks are decked out in their different outfits. They're drinking drinks. We have a bunch of these food trucks over here as well. And I want to show you this area. The organizers have blocked off this whole area of Capitol Mall. So come with me this way. You can see all the fencing separating it. And this whole area is blocked off all of this is meant to put a spotlight on Sacramento. It's a Mardi Gras celebration in the heart of downtown Sacramento. Welcome to the City of Trees Parade. The City of Trees Parade is all about celebrating Sacramento, yeah! its art, music, and culture. From musicians to dancers and even to pets, there's no shortage of spirit here. Around 1,500 performers filling the Capitol Mall. Organizer Wes Sams putting a California twist on the classic carnival. We don't want to contribute to new plastic waste, and so we buy all of our beads previously thrown from New Orleans from a local nonprofit there that sells them. And so we had them all shipped, 1,000 pounds of beads shipped to us from New Orleans. But beyond the beads, the third annual City of Trees Parade and Mardi Gras Festival is meant to raise a glass to Sacramento. I wanted to start this because I used to live in New Orleans and I've seen the way that New Orleans celebrates itself and I want Sacramento to celebrate itself in the same way. We are a city that deserves to be celebrated. That's why every single vendor here is local. They're all different flavors though. Marquita Johnson with Carnival Concessions is originally from Louisiana but has lived in Sacramento for 25 years. Her specialty is shaved ice, which she calls snowballs. We get all our flavors sent from New Orleans. We make them ourselves, so our flavors are authentic flavors. We try to introduce our culture and our heritage um, here to California. Down. The folks inside this tent using paint to do some body marbling. We put it on the water, it floats on the water, you dip your arm in and it comes out with a really cool design. The Rancho Cordova business behind the colorful creations is proud to be part of this festival. I love that it's all local vendors. It means that we're kind of um, improving our community, being a part of the community, inviting people who are in this vicinity. <laughs> And back out here live, the second part of the parade just kicked off. You can see some of those performers in the parade route here, already here getting ready to go. And also all these spectators lined up on the side. Now, all of this is scheduled to continue all the festivities until 9 o'clock tonight. Brittany, I'm going to be sure to bring these back to the station and give them to you. <laughs> Reporting live in downtown Sacramento, Orca Man, the KCRA 3 News. And that is why I appreciate you, Orca. Thank you so much. It looks so fun out there.